Hi, today we're in iCool Challenge Egypt 2021. Hannah Mohammed Zakaria. ID ICE 3022. About my team. I am Hannah Mohammed. I am 11 years old. I am from Egypt. I live in Hurghada. I started to learn programming one year ago. I participated in a local competition and I hold the second place. I participated in Virtual Robo Cup Asia Pacific last year and I was the first place. What is your challenge task? I participated in Co-Space Rescue under 12. Go to deposit, it was the hardest thing in the whole map. And making the robot turn left makes it easier. First, I made it by statement, then it didn't work good. So I tried it again, then it didn't work good again. So I made it with the C language, and it worked. The robot got high scores, and my score was 2040 by taking more than one super object. I learned from my mistakes, and now I know how to make photo deposits. Analyzes. Challenge task analyzes. To make the robot go to deposit in the center in the map perfectly when loaded objects more than five. I use right and left ultrasonic sensors. To make the robot turn left and I use the compass and the position X and Y. And the robot turn to 180 degrees to go to deposit well. Now, it worked after I retried to make it again. Here, this is my C programming in this picture. AI, algorithms, and resources. Identifying and prior prioritizing and assigning the necessary AI algorithms, tools, and resources to complete the challenge task. I needed to program the robot to go to deposit, unloaded objects, more than four. I take the position X and the position Y, and the compass, and make the robot turn to, then go to deposit. By using position X and position Y, and compass and exact front ultrasonic sensors, turn to 180 compass. I make statement move to, to track the wall to make more super objects. Here, this is my C language move to programming. Here, I will show you this video, how my robot goes in the go to deposit in the correct way. Here, now it's going in the position of the X and Y. Now, it made the 180 degrees turn and now depositing. Here, as we see, depositing successfully. Here is a flowchart explaining most of the code. First of all, the robot starts. Then, the robot sees the wall. If the wall is detected, if yes, the robot will, will turn, if no, We'll go to the next statement. If the robot see the color RGB sensor of the object, if yes, the robot will take it. If no, the robot will go to the next statement. Ask himself, do I see the trap? If yes, he will avoid it. If no, the robot will go to the next statement. Ask himself, do you see the deposit? If it's yes, I will leave the objects if I have more than four objects. If no, 
I will go to the end. Then I will return back to the beginning as a loop. Debugging. The robot have good performance as what I planned. It worked after I tried changing it, turns and the compass. I tried that the robot turn right around the map and I can't make it go to deposit well. So I make it turn to left now. It was easy to make it go to deposit perfectly when loaded objects more than four. I use RGB sensors to detect the yellow and I make that when the robot have loaded objects more than zero, avoid the trap. Conclusion. My score was good and it was 2040. I make the robot take more super objects to get a better score by using statement move to. First, I used the statements, then I, it didn't work. So I used the C language and used position X and position Y and compass and turn. I make the robot track the wall to take super objects by making move to using C language and less the speed. Learning experience. I learned how to program the robot to take objects and deposit and avoid the trap. I'm so excited to win this competition that I won last year. Virtual Robo Cup Asia Pacific, Co Space Rescue Under 12. I shared with my sister how we can program the robot to, to do the tasks. Thank you for watching my presentation.